Hey Lee, Derby City Naturals coming at you to do this super quick review of this awesome product I have been sampling out for the last couple weeks. Ta da! What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a shower cap. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're like, really? You really need a shower cap? Honey, you don't know this shower cap. Okay. It's a shower cap by the company um, Silky Wrap. So you can see there, isn't that so cute? Yeah, they put their little name in there. First things first, this is made out of like really nice vinyl. Like this is probably thicker than what you actually use like in your shower curtain as your liner. It's so, so, so thick. Like this is not gonna rip, it's not gonna, you know, shred or get tangled or anything like that. Okay, here's a normal one. This is my son's, it's a little one for his little tiny head. Yeah, this is, can you see that? Like I can stretch that and I can rip it if I wanted to. Okay, and then here's the really cheap plastic ones that I use. I'm not even going to pretend to stretch this because I'll rip it. Definitely not like that. This is super thick and can definitely stand up. I mean, you're going to get a lot of use out of this. Secondly, the thing that I love, hold on, I've got to do some magic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at that. So each of them are lined with these really cute um, satin liners. I'm not sure what different colors or patterns that they come in, but I just love the fact that it's there and it's soft against the hair. It actually feels really good. I mean, truth be told, you can probably just sleep in this if you want to. Um, yes, yeah. so anyways. Oh, and let me tell you something else I did. So whether you're supposed to or not, I did actually, um, I was doing an overnight DC. So I flipped this inside out like such. So then the vinyl part's on the inside and I put that on my hair and it totally stayed in place. It didn't move. So I really like that. And I didn't have to worry about it slipping off because this satin was sliding against my satin pillowcase and it was just all slidey and satiny so it didn't come off. Okay, so why do you need a gigantic shower cap? And why am I coming on here with my hair just completely just big? Because I want to show you that <laughs> These things are huge, and as your hair gets bigger, you're going to need something more accommodating. Otherwise, you're going to get mushroom head. Let me explain. So, this is a standard size shower cap. This is um, what I normally use. It's wet because I used it. Hold on. We're not going to use that one. we use another one. Okay. Here we go. This one's never been used. So, when you try to put your hair in a normal shower cap, you're going to get mushroom head. This is what I mean by mushroom head. Yeah, and this is a normal size. It's not a kitty one like the one I showed you previously. Do you see that? Mushroom head. All your hair's not in there. You can try to stuff that. Like, if my hair was wet, it would all fit in here. But the whole point of wearing this is to do it when it's dry. Okay, again, mushroom head. Because this is just hanging out. Do you see that? So it's on there, but this is all hanging out. You won't have the problem anymore with this shower cap. So, I put your torn like thus, and boop, boop, boop. make sure all my hair's in there, yeah, it's all in there, okay, and there's room for tons of more hair, like, let me show you that twisting it, see all this, my hair's not even over here, okay, so if you had long locks, you could roll up your locks, put them in here, and they would be secure, uh, if you didn't feel like getting them wet, also, so when I was wearing my yarn braids, um, a while ago, I had that issue. So it was really difficult for me to try to keep them dry. And I actually did this funny little method where I would put them in a ninja bun on top of my head and then just put the shower cap over just the bun and just go with that just because I didn't want to be walking around with, uh, oops, sorry. I didn't want to be walking around with long, wet yarn braids, are they? That would just be gross and mildewy. Anyway, this product, here it is, is freaking fantastic. I love how well it's made. I love the, you guys can't see this, but there's really quality stitching. Like, I have tried to abuse this product. Trust me, I'm hard on things on purpose just to see what they're like. So I've been just stretching this and messing with it. It's really quality work done. This is, I mean, the thread is really strong. Trust me, I've tried to rip it. I've tried to mess it up. It is definitely, definitely, definitely something you want to invest in. Now, you may feel like, why do I need to invest in a shower cap? Well, let's see. This pack of, I don't know where the pack is, but anyways, I bought this one, this one, and this one. They came in a pack. Um, it's only what I use, like, when I'm going to decondition my hair or something. 
And we'll just say that pack was $3.99, probably because they're special colors or whatever, and that's fine. Um, and they each last me maybe a month, a month and a half. And so, and now I'm just going to keep going through them, keep going through them, keep going through them, keep going through them, okay? Because eventually, they're very cheaply made. The plastic can tear. This elastic isn't very strong. I mean, the plastic is just um, singed on there, so it can come out and the, elast the elastic can get all stretched out. We've all seen that before to where it's no longer usable. You're not going to have this problem with that product. Also, as we waste these, we're throwing them away, which we know is bad for the environment. Boo, we don't want to do that. This product here is just so well made. So yes, it's an investment in buying a shower cap, but it's probably the last shower cap you will ever have to use. It's going to grow with you. It's going to grow with your hair. Um, and it's just made of such quality fabric that you're not going to have to worry about replacing it or, you know, it conking out on you. So definitely, and especially if you've got big hair, yes, or you've got long locks or you've just got long um, braids or whatever is your style, um, you definitely want to invest in this product, and you can also use it, you know, for multiple people. So my son has a little tiny head because he's six, and he just has a small head. I also had him put this on, and he was able to get it on and keep his head in there. If you look at this little opening, it stays pretty small as compared to these two openings. Yeah, it's not much bigger, so it was actually able to stay on his head. Now, it was a whole lot of fabric on his head once it was on there. So the only thing I would wish for is that like at the, I don't know if it exactly has a back, but at the back there was like a snap that I could snap it. That would be great too because I had to learn how to shape this. This actually isn't perfectly round. It's actually um, oval, like oblong. So it's longer this way. You see that? Than it is this way. And so um, when I had it on, when I was wearing it the long way, I would have a problem like if I washed my neck and then I would turn it in the shower, there was no water getting to it. So I would either have to just fold it up to make sure that it was, you know, actually rinsing the back of my neck, or I would just rotate it and turn it so it could get there. So just little things like that. So the only thing I would wish for is that if it had a little snap on it, that'd be great for those who do not have fully gargantuan size froze yet. We're just sort of medium to large froze. Anyways, it was a great product. Definitely um, think it's something you should look into. For more details on the product, look in the description box below. Thanks.